to reports, Bill Cosby is waiting for an answer for possibly incriminating questions in his sexual assault lawsuit. Now, this is as of February 4th, 2022, that he has been waiting, and we are going to see what comes of this. The judge says that Bill Cosby faces appreciable risk of self-incrimination and can invoke the Fifth Amendment in lawsuit from a woman alleging that he abused her at the Playboy Mansion when she was only a youngin by the age of one five. Certain things we can't say here on YouTube anymore. Here's an update. A Los Angeles judge has granted Bill Cosby the right to invoke his Fifth Amendment privilege and refused to answer any probing questions in the deposition posed by Judy Huth, a woman who was suing him with claims that she was assaulted at the Playboy Mansion in 1974 when she was the age of 15. Judge Craig D. Carlin ruled Thursday that Bill Cosby does in fact face a real and appreciable risk of self-incrimination if he answers the questions in a second deposition ahead of a trial in a case set for May 9th. Cosby's lawyer argued last week that the comedian still fears he might face criminal charges either on the federal level or from state prosecutors in California or South Carolina where accusers have still stepped forward with more allegations that still fall within the applicable statute of limitations. Carlin ruled that any evidence of any other improper sexual conduct gleaned from a new deposition could be used as a link in a chain of evidence needed to prosecute him in criminal court. While the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office and the Los Angeles Police Department have declined to prosecute the defendant at this time, they are not forever barred from doing so. And newly obtained evidence could possibly convince them to do otherwise, Carlin wrote in the ruling. Huth's lawyer, Gloria Allred, said that Bill Cosby should not be permitted to testify at a trial if he refuses to answer questions at his second deposition. If he tries to testify at trial, we will vigorously oppose his efforts and argue that he should not be permitted to testify at all because he declined to answer previously court-ordered deposition questions. We are looking forward to Miss Huth finally being able to have her day in court. Bill Cosby fears that federal prosecutors might decide to pursue a racketeering and sex trafficking case against him similar to the one that R. Kelly faced in New York, his criminal defense lawyer revealed in a California courtroom on Friday. Bill Cosby's lawyer, Jennifer Bonjean, acknowledged the concern as she spoke on the phone at a hearing on Cosby's request to invoke his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination and sidestep a second deposition in a civil court battle with his accuser, Judy Huth. Bojean claimed R. Kelly's conviction last September and other factors, including W. Kamu Bell's new Showtime docuseries, We Need to Talk About Cosby, have been fueling Cosby's worries that he's not out of jeopardy as of yet. She said the docuseries was a whipping, was a whipping for the public and whipping them into a frenzy with the backdrop of an ongoing Me Too movement. Bill Cosby's fear of future prosecution is not fanciful. It is not imaginary. Bojean argued that Huth, the accuser, now suing Cosby with claims that he assaulted her at the Playboy Mansion in 1974 when he was 37 and she was only 15, already deposed Cosby once before and now wants to ask sweeping follow-up questions along the lines of, have you ever sexually assaulted anyone anywhere at any time in the last 84 years of your life? A Los Angeles Superior Court judge, Craig Carlin, listened patiently throughout the hour-long hearing and declined to rule from the bench, but he said he was leaning towards allowing Cosby to plead the fifth. He said it does appear that he has reasonable fear of prosecution, and frankly, if more information came out, that could easily cause a prosecutor to reevaluate his or her decision in seemingly declining cases. He does have a reasonable fear that he could be incriminating himself if, in fact, he provides information and the statutes of limitation have not run. I don't see it as that close a call. Carlin specifically referenced how Cosby was charged in 2015 for Andrea Constan, even though a prior district attorney in Pennsylvania declined to prosecute the same case in 2005. He said, I don't see the assertion as frivolous here, especially given what happened in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. 
Hughes first sued Cosby in 2014, but her complaint was put on hold by that time by Cosby's two criminal trials related to Constan and the ongoing COVID pandemic. The case got back on track later last year in 2021 after Pennsylvania's highest court overturned Cosby's conviction in the Constan case and he walked out of prison a free man. It's a stunning decision. The court said Cosby's right to due process was violated because Montgomery County prosecutors had promised he would not face charges. Relying on that promise, Cosby gave a damaging deposition testimony related to Andrea Constan that was later used against him. Bon Jane brought up R. Kelly's recent conviction as she argued Friday that federal prosecutors have been very aggressive about bringing claims against celebrities under a series of RICO violations, pleading around the statutes of limitation, charging people with predicate acts that date back decades. I also represent R. Kelly, who most certainly was prosecuted under a RICO theory in which he was a celebrity and that theory went that there was an inner circle of people who worked for celebrities and helped him get SEX. We know that federal prosecutors are creatively using federal statutes to prosecute individuals with allegations that go back a very, very long time, she said. Hughes lawyer John West argued on Friday that Cosby should not get an automatic lifetime pass with the Fifth Amendment on the theory that prosecutors might suddenly change their mind. Either way, Judge Carlin said that Hughes' case is moving ahead. He set a new trial date of May 9th, giving both sides an extra month to prepare. So it looks like Bill Cosby will be back in court in May. But I tell you this. He better be scared because there most definitely could be criminal prosecution charges filed on him because of his intentional infliction of emotional distress, which is the main portion of a sexual battery case. Let me know what you guys think and let's treat each other better.